Hello everybody. So as you guys know, I'm currently going through a breakup. I am getting an undeniably amount of questions. People are saying that I didn't explain very well. I compiled a bunch of questions and I wrote them down. I'm just here to be open, honest, and finally kind of explain everything that's going on in short form. Are you two getting back together? No, we're not. Do you still live with her? Currently, I do still live with her. Do you guys still cuddle or hug? When we first broke up, we did hug. We didn't cuddle. We were at a very confused state. We do not do any of that anymore. We are completely just over. It's way too hard to be broken up with somebody and still try to do things as if you were in a relationship. It's just not healthy. So this question actually upsets me. Are you lying about the breakup just to get attention? That's really, really insulting to me because I would never in a million years lie about something like this. When Crystal first broke up with me, it was literally the most horrible feeling I have ever felt in my whole entire life. My whole world crashed down. I was shocked and confused. When you think that someone is going to be in your life forever loving you and you loving her, and then your whole world crashes down in just an instant, it's hard to accept those feelings and really absorb them. It was just traumatizing to say the least. Do you still share a bed? Is it hard? We do share a bed. I don't see any reason why Crystal needs to buy a new bed because if I do and when I do plan on moving, they'd have an extra bed. There's no reason for it. I don't want them to waste the money. Friends sleep together all the time. We aren't close in the bed, we kind of just sleep. If she wanted you back, would you take her back? A while ago, I would have said yes in a split second. I've had time to think and we've talked a lot. I wouldn't, neither would she. We just realized that relationship-wise, we are not meant to be. It's just something that we have to accept and move on. How'd you realize you two were meant to be just friends? I think this question is gonna tie a lot into why did you break up? I didn't give you guys an answer. I'm here to give you guys an answer now. This is hard for me, but I wanted to be honest with you guys. Crystal and I were together for three and a half years. The first two years were amazing. The first year was even more amazing. I literally was on top of the world. She accepted me for who I was. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I was her first relationship, her first love, her first everything. I have been in love before, but Crystal was so different. She's special. She is one of the nicest people I've ever known in my life. She has a kind heart and a kind soul, and I will never ever downgrade her or say anything bad about her to anybody because she really is just an amazing person. As the second year was coming to a close, I felt unloved and unwanted and I kind of just played it off as I'm an insecure person. I, I always feel like people are mad at me or they dislike me for whatever reason and I tried to use that as an excuse. There were plenty of times where I'd ask Crystal, do you still love me? Do you still think I'm beautiful? Do you still like me as a girlfriend? Do you see yourself with me for a long time? The reason why I would ask her those things is because she stopped telling me I was beautiful. She stopped Sorry. She stopped looking at me with the eyes that she looked at me when I first came here. She didn't kiss me the same. She didn't hug me the same. We were drifting apart and nobody knew it. I tried to blame it on. We were one of those couples who were just used to each other. I was trying to say, oh, I'm just insecure. We're used to each other. That's amazing. That means we're comfortable around each other. We don't always have to be kissing. It was just so many lies I kept saying to myself. There came a time where we wouldn't kiss each other for months. We'd go on dates and they were fun, right? But something was missing. It completely just, everything changed. And I didn't want to believe it. We hid it from everybody. <laughs> Even when we told Crystal's parents that we broke up, they were shocked. Her dad said, but you guys seemed fine. Crystal um, told me one day, she didn't feel the same for me anymore. She was not in love with me at, at all. She just was not in love with me anymore. I 
literally died. My just whole world fell apart. I wasn't expecting it because I kept lying to myself over and over. I wanted this fairy tale with her. God, I wasn't supposed to cry. What is this? I wanted this fairy tale with Crystal. And it just wasn't happening. And I tried my hardest for months to fix things and just nothing worked. <laughs> she told me she wanted to see other people. She wasn't sure if she'd ever be in love with me again because she didn't feel the same. Some people are just not meant to be. As much as I wanted it to be, this ties into the next question. <sighs> How did I realize we were just meant to be friends? Um, after the shock wore off and I processed in my head that I did not feel like somebody's girlfriend for a lot of that relationship because we did drift apart completely. I realized that I didn't want to be with someone like that. I didn't want to force someone to love me. I didn't want to trap somebody. Because I was lying to myself so much, I realized that I'm not in love with her either. I love Crystal so much as a person. She changed my life. She made me realize that there are angels out there. People with big hearts. And I felt horrible for her because she told me that for a whole year, she wasn't in love with me and she was trying to protect my feelings and when she told me that I knew right there I cannot let her be with me I do not want to trap her I'm not that type of person at all so you guys see me as this girl who just got broken up with like two months ago but really this has been happening for over a year just me feeling like I was a friend and it's hard it's really hard and I just Everything is all just jumbled in my head. I don't even know how to begin to explain how I'm feeling just besides hurt and confused and I feel free. I feel relieved. I'm so grateful that this is, this has happened. At first I thought it was the end of the world, but this is meant to be and I know it's meant to be. As hard as it is, this is the right thing to do. We are not in love with each other. I just feel like we're meant to be friends because we do get along as friends. Are you still hurting? Obviously, yes, I'm still hurting. It doesn't hurt me as much. I think what more so hurts is that one day I will be moving. I can't be here forever. I feel like it's very unhealthy for me to stay here. These people are my family. They've become very much like my family. But I feel like if I stay here, I'm putting my whole life on hold and I feel like I'm really not gonna get anywhere with my life. And that's the truth. As much as it sucks and it hurts, I know I need to move on and Crystal's accepting it as well. How are you feeling just being friends with her? I feel free, I feel better. We can finally have time, time to ourselves. We were together 24 seven for over three years. There wasn't a time we weren't together besides if we had to go to the bathroom. We were together all the time and now I find time to just be by myself and you take those little things for granted. Honestly, you do because you you get so attached to someone else that you become them almost. It's like Crystal and Amber Lynn, Crystal and Amber Lynn. No, I am Amber Lynn. That is Crystal. We are two different people and we have two different tracks in life. We see things a lot alike, but we also just see things so differently. Are you planning on staying in Virginia? No, I, I do not plan on staying in Virginia. The only reason why I moved here was to be with my girlfriend, the girl that I love to death. I don't see any point in me being here. I will always, 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 always be in communication with Crystal because we are friends. She is my best friend and she doesn't want to lose me and I don't want to lose her. There's just no way that we are ever going to move on with our lives if I am still in this house, if I am still in Virginia. I don't like Virginia as a whole. I don't like the weather. I don't like the people. I don't like the environment. I just don't like it at all. So I feel like it's right for me to leave. When I'm leaving, that's a whole other story. Crystal's actually the only person that knows and her aunt because me and her aunt are super close. Those are the only two people that know that I will be leaving Virginia one day and I want to say it's in the near future, but I'm not 100% sure right now. What if one of you start dating other people? 
we are both actually talking to people right now. She's talking to a couple people. I'm talking to just one person that I have formed a really deep connection with, which was unexpected completely. I, I don't even know how it's happened. Of course, it's hard for the both of us, especially because Crystal started liking other people way before I even started talking to other people. And it's going to be hard. I'm living with my ex-girlfriend, the woman that I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with. So yes, it's going to be hard, but we have to accept it and adapt to it while I'm currently here because we are both in our 20s. <laughs> we need to venture out. We can't be just in this house with each other as friends and not moving on with life. We both know we need to move on and it's extremely important to do so. I would never want her to feel like she can't date other people while I'm here because that is insane. I don't even feel like I'd be jealous because I'm so s secure with what I have and with what I'm feeling. How do you get over a breakup? Honestly, it depends on the person. My story is kind of out of whack. Not many people live with their exes. It's gonna be different for everyone, but I feel like my main word of advice would be surround yourself with people who make you happy, who make you laugh, who are kind to you and who are understanding and who can let you vent. Surround yourself with hobbies and just activities that you love, like love, and do not forget to cry because if you hold it all in, you'll blow. Do it and let it out because it's really important to let those feelings out and, the mo and those emotions out trust me because when i hold them in it ain't pretty how are you feeling overall <sighs> i am feeling overwhelmed you guys i'm sure a lot of people don't understand this but this is my life and my story my breakup i guess the only person that can really understand what i'm going through is myself everyone is different and that's just how it is so i hope i answered enough questions I'm really nervous for the future. I'm scared for the future because my future was Crystal, but things have changed drastically in the last year. That's really all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. I guess I can either answer them there, make another video, I don't know, but trust me, there will be several updates in this crazy freaking life of mine because I have no idea what's happening. I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.